You can feel it in your bones. You want to create your own virtual assistant business. You want the freedom of owning your own business and the flexibility to create your own schedule. You know this is right for you, but you're having trouble moving forward. What is holding you back? In this video, we will look at the fears that could prevent you from creating the virtual assistant business you always wanted. Hi, I'm Kathy Guggenauer, business coach and trainer exclusively for virtual experts. First, I want you to know you are not alone. Many women who take the journey of entrepreneurship find themselves dragging their feet at some point whether it is starting your business or growing your business, some common fears can hold you back. Let's take a look at a few of those fears. One, fear of failure. As Ariana Huffington said, failure isn't the opposite of success. It's part of success. Playing it safe won't move you forward. You need to take the risk. You need to push outside of your comfort zone to create and grow a business. Success is on the other side of fear. When you make a choice not to take the risk, you will remain right where you are. Yes, I did say choice. Not making a decision or not taking a step is a choice you make. You must realize that risk is part of the journey to creating and growing a successful virtual assistant business. Every idea you have may not be a home run and that's okay. You learn the lesson provided to you and move on to something new. If you give in to the fear, you will not achieve your dreams. Number two, imposter syndrome. This is the fear of being found out. You may be afraid you do not know enough, are not creative enough, or don't know the right software programs to serve your clients. You may be worried that someone's going to find out and expose you. You most likely know way more than you give yourself credit for. Many people I work with assume because the skill is easy for them that certainly anyone can do it. Well, that isn't true. Many business owners seek VAs and virtual experts because they don't know how to do something or simply don't have time. I do not emphasize skills as the first step to creating your VA business in my training program because you already have tons of skills and you can learn any additional skills needed as you begin to earn as a VA, you only need to stay one step ahead of your clients and you most likely are already there. Number three, lack of confidence. One of the most common fears I see from women who want to start their own VA businesses is the lack of confidence. This prevents them from connecting with potential clients and letting business owners know they are available to help. Once they have a client, they won't speak up when things need to be said or charge the rate they're worth. You have a lot to offer. You most likely thrive on helping and supporting others. This is where you shine. And this is just what business owners are looking for in their VAs or VEs they hire. I have found that as you create and continue to grow your business, you're going to have hurdles to jump. Usually you are part of that hurdle. Fears and limiting beliefs have a way of creeping up on us when we least expect it. Being part of a tribe of like-minded virtual assistants and virtual experts to support you in those times is incredibly valuable. I know the women and a few men in my training program reach out to each other on days they feel like quitting. Getting the perspective from someone who understands what you do and usually how you feel helps to bring you back on track. To learn more about me and my virtual expert program, watch my free webinar at the link below. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Be sure to like this video and comment below.